Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with the Fan TV, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos, man. Let's get to today's topic. All right, so look, man, the reporters out there practice, they can't really report on what's going on as far as, you know, plays and schemes and stuff like that because we're getting into regular season action, right? So training camp, all that kind of stuff is kind of past. Uh, but what they can talk about is injuries, who's out there practicing, who they don't see, things like that, right? And uh, so there's a couple things today that I was interested about who they saw out there, who wasn't out there. So players that they saw return to the field, Tyler Huntley, Rashad Bateman, David Ojabo, Tavius Robinson. Um, now, also what they saw was that um, Anthony Brown wasn't out there and that Tay Hayes, the cornerback from the preseason, was out there. And Tay Hayes might have took Anthony Brown's spot on the practice squad. Now, Anthony Brown was obviously wouldn't have been the Ravens' fourth quarterback. So, if they decide just to fight, I'll cut him. And, I mean, I can see that making sense in some ways. You know what I mean? I, I can definitely see that. Uh, you already have Josh Johnson here. You already got three guys. So, why do you need a fourth? So, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, I, I like Anthony Brown, what he could do, what he, what he did um, sometimes last season. And even some points uh, in this preseason as well. But, anyway... The big news of the day is that um, Mark Andrews is still not practicing for the Ravens, right? Now, Harbaugh had his typical Harbaugh quote, you know, don't push the panic button on Mark Andrews. I expect Mark Andrews to be out there tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And I think that's when the first official um, injury report of the year comes out, either Wednesday or Thursday, one of, the, one of the two days. That's when the first injury report of the year will come out. If Mark Andrews is not out there tomorrow, I guess we'll have some more to talk about when we do the injury report video. But I think it's still worth mentioning, right? Now, Mark Andrews has been out for a little bit, not not a lot of super long time, but enough time where now it's something that to be noted, something that's like, okay, well, was it a little knock or now is it something more serious that um, is being kept under wraps? Now, listen, John Harwell doesn't have the greatest reputation when it comes to reporting injuries and um, making the fans feel secure that, the injuries that he says are minor are actually minor, right? Um, I think about Ty's Bowser, right? Uh, all the way up until the 53-man roster, the expectation was that Ty's Bowser was going to play week one, right? That's all Harbaugh kept saying. Yeah, Ty's Bowser was about to be back week one, no setbacks. This is that little agitation with the knee, this and that, da, 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 right? Now, me personally, knowing how, how Harbaugh acts, I didn't expect Ty's Bowser to be back week one, right? Um, just because... He missed the entire offseason, everything like that. Just to throw him out there week one with little to no preparation, really, as far as, you know, football action would have been uh, extreme. All right. So now with Mark Andrews, we're here with a situation where it's like, be calm, be steady, nothing's going on. Uh, don't hit the panic button yet. I expect him to be back Wednesday. I expect him to play versus the Texans next week. Now, if that's still the expectation, great. Uh, but... Like I said, doesn't have the greatest injury record as far as uh, reporting to make people, to make the fans feel uh, secure in what he's talking about, right? Uh, so that's something to look out for. Uh, if the Ravens will have Mike Andrews week one versus the Texans, um, if he's back practicing tomorrow, then obviously this 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 uh, is null and void, and then you know it's a, nothing to be scared about. It's a um, it's a it's a complete done and an over issue, right? So that's what we're going to be looking out for tomorrow is Mark Andrews back. Because if he's not, and the Ravens have the possibility of going up week one against Houston without Mark Andrews, now they still have likely, they still have Kolar who played uh, both guys who are who are good players, especially Isaiah Likely, we know what he did last year, showed some flashes, need to be more consistent to in, as far as getting into the games. Um, but when he got the opportunity, got the ball thrown his way, he made play. So if the Ravens have to be without Mark Andrews for a week, I think they can survive it. The biggest thing I would say is that if this injury is anything more than minor, it's no point of rushing Mark Andrews back for week one. This is about playing a long game. If he has to sit all week one, then so be it. Um, same thing how I feel with Marlon Humphrey. Right? Marlon Humphrey, obviously, he didn't practice today either. Same way I feel with Marlon Humphrey, right? If Marlon Humphrey um, is all of a sudden ready to go week one, I would feel a little timid just because it seemed like he could be rushing back, right? If he can be back week two, week three, great. You know, there's no need to rush these guys back early on in the season um, when you're still just figuring things out as you, yourself as a team. So um, if Mike Andrews can go, let him play. But if it feels like there's any uh, slightest bit of hesitation that he's rushing them out there a little bit, let, let him sit for a little while. But um, that's the Ravens news for the day, man, that Mark Andrews is still not practicing. Harbaugh is saying that it's not time to hit the panic button. There's no cause for concern. 
um, that he expects Mark Andrews to practice tomorrow and he expects him to play in the game on Sunday. Now, we have to see that if that's going to come to fruition. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. But I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.